Controlling your loop switcher should be quick, simple, and fuss-free. The ML10X offers native integration with Morningstar controllers, so you don't even need to use MIDI. You heard me right. You can literally ignore MIDI. Let's get into it. Controlling the ML10X with a Morningstar controller is super easy, and I can show you how in just 10 seconds. Let's get the timer on the screen. Select your desired switch, followed by the action you want to use. Then choose the ML10X message type. With this, you'll be able to engage, bypass, and toggle loops, scroll through, and recall your ML10X presets. Okay, that was simplified, but you get how easy it is. Now let's go into more detail. In our last video, we went through how to program ML10X presets that includes setting the order of your effects as well as splitting and merging signals. In this video, we'll be going through how you can recall your ML10X presets and control loops with your MIDI controller. For those who are not using a Morningstar MIDI controller, be assured that we've also got you covered. The ML10X has comprehensive MIDI implementation, so regardless of which MIDI controller you are using, you will be able to control every function available on the ML10X as long as your controller can send the required MIDI messages. You can find the ML10X MIDI implementation chart in the user manual. For those using Morningstar MIDI controllers, we offer something more. With the ML10X message type, you don't need to deal with MIDI numbers or values at all. Let's take a look at how it works. Once you selected the Morningstar ML10X message type, you'll see a drop-down list of functions available. Let's go through them and explain what each does. The first function we have is set loops. This sets the status of all loops. Whatever is shown by the checkboxes will be the state of your loops. Loops that are checkmarked will be engaged and loops that are not will be bypassed. Secondly, we have engage selected loops. This will engage loops that are selected but will not change the state of loops that are not selected. Then we have bypass selected loops. This bypasses loops that are selected, but will not alter the state of loops that are not selected. Next up, toggle selected loops. This will toggle selected loops to the opposite state from whatever state they are in. If a loop is bypassed, it will be engaged, and if a loop is engaged, it will be bypassed. Unselected loops will not be affected. This toggle command allows you to use your pedals in a stompbox kind of fashion. This bank has each switch set up to toggle on and off individual pedals. This way, you can bring effects in and out of your signal chain as required. Take note that the bypass and toggle commands will work only for simple ML10X presets at the moment. You will not be able to engage your bypass loops if you have an advanced preset active. Hopefully, we will have an improvement to this in a future firmware update. We explain the differences between a simple and advanced preset in our ML10X introductory video here. Check it out if you haven't. The next three commands deal with presets. Scroll up and scroll down, do exactly as they say, and will allow you to scroll through your presets. Pro tip, if you want to be able to hold down a switch and scroll through your presets quickly, duplicate this message and select the long press scroll action type. This will allow you to press to scroll through presets one at a time and hold down to scroll through presets quickly. The last command we have is select preset. This recalls whatever ML10X preset you want. Simply select the bank followed by the preset you want to recall and you're good to go. You'll notice a device ID field below. If you are using multiple ML10Xs, this determines which ML10X device will be affected. Set to Omni, the command will affect all ML10Xs. If you want to affect only one specific device, just select the device ID for your desired ML10X. Coming up next, we have a video showing you how the order of your effects changes your tone and how the ability to reorder your effects significantly expands your sonic palette. So be sure to subscribe to our channel and also like this video if you found it helpful. It really does help the channel. Keep rocking and I'll catch you again very soon.